As one of the internet's most prominent style icons, AirPods, more like poverty pods, Abyss, ew, where's the Gucci logo? <laughs> but Louis Vuitton earphones, ooh, my wallet senses are tingling. At 1200 US dollars, I can rest assured that if I buy these, not only will I be getting the best of the best, but I'll know that I am the best of the best. Right? They specialize in cutting up leather and sewing it together. What exactly makes you think that any of that translates to designing electronics? Oh, shut up, poor Linus. You're just jealous. Jealous? You're jealous of me and my segues to our sponsors. Today's video is brought to you by Casetify. Casetify's impact and ultra impact partially recycled cases offer drop protection, a variety of designs, and even have an antimicrobial coating. Save 15% on your order at casetify.com slash LTT. Like most of you, I'm skeptical that the LV Horizon earphones can live up to both their lofty price tag and the bold claims on their product page. But let's give them a chance, okay? Right out of the gate, you have to give credit where it's due. When you buy something this expensive, you expect an experience from the moment that you open the box and Louis Vuitton delivers. The outer box opens to reveal, wait, is this real leather? Gotta admit, that's pretty extra. You unzip your little luggage and, oh, wow. This charging case is quite the statement. The earphones themselves are beautifully displayed through a sapphire glass top bearing the iconic Louis Vuitton monogram around the crown. The body is made of this sandblasted steel that has a reassuringly expensive feeling weight to it. And it features what feels like a basically seamless ceramic bottom for wireless Qi charging. If your top priority is making sure that everyone knows what brand of earphones you bought, then boy howdy, did you ever come to the right place. The lid opens with a satisfying springiness and closes with a nice clack, or at least it did. After only a few days of gentle use, the case now has kind of a grainy and looseness to the hinge that frankly speaking, feels more H&M than Louis V. And for all its external niceness, the plastic on top where the earphones actually reside and where you're kind of like fumbling and putting them in was so easily scratched by my gorgeous painted fingernails that it made it look all scuffed and abused after just two weeks. Thankfully, the same is not true of the headphones, which still look exactly as luxurious as the day my assistant wired them the money. As for whether the luxurious look transfers to the owner, well, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Gorgeous, baby. But I'm more concerned with how they function. In terms of features, they have everything that you'd expect from a pair of premium true wireless earphones. Bluetooth 5.0, active noise canceling, and proximity sensors for auto pause and play. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I love the interface. There are physical buttons on both earphones that you press down from the top, which is way better than inconsistent touch controls or buttons that cause you to mash the earphones ever deeper into your ear canal. The right one has a single button for pause, play, and change tracks, and the left has two buttons for volume control. Thank you, LV, for not forcing me to engage with a voice assistant just to change the volume of my music. You can also use these buttons to toggle between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. As for how they sound, however, truthfully, they're mediocre at best. They feature a strong V-shaped sound signature, and while the highs do have nice detail without crossing into harsh territory, the bass is an absolute ruddy mess, I believe is the term for it. Very low frequencies get boosted so much more than the mid-bass that low instruments that sit above the thump of the kick drum get completely lost in the mix. And if there's a bass line that moves up and down the neck, it becomes really distracting how much that instrument can vary in volume. So if you're someone coming from a mid forward headphone like Apple's AirPods Pro, you may find your music sounding a little bit hollow. And this trend continues looking at the quality of the Horizon's active noise cancellation. 
It's serviceable, aided significantly by the strong noise isolation of their in-ear canal design, but it falls really flat compared to the competent Galaxy Buds Pro and the excellent AirPods Pro, both of which, and I can't believe I'm saying this, are cheap in comparison. Thankfully, the ANC isn't unpleasant to use. Like I didn't get a strong pressure sensation on my eardrums, but there is a noticeable background hiss when it's active, and it also didn't manage to do much to minimize constant background noises like an airplane engine or a GPU fan, let alone a maniac on a rooftop screaming about the incredible products at lttstore.com. The headphones feature Qualcomm AppDex for low latency content consumption and mobile gaming, though how much content you'll want to consume is tough to say because they aren't really that comfortable. Even with the smallest ear tips, you gotta really push these into your ears to get a good seal. Though, again, credit where it's due, their claims of long battery life appear to hold water. I fell asleep wearing them on my flight to Tel Aviv and I woke up pleased to find out that they were A, still running hours later, and B, that my ears didn't hurt. Though, I never forget that I'm wearing them like I do with my Daily Driver AirPods Pros. Oh, excuse me. The mic quality is decent, but I gotta say it falls apart a little bit if you're surrounded by noise or traffic. With that said, nobody chooses the Horizons for any of the stuff that I just talked about. I mean, even for shoppers in this price band, they could never justify how much these cost based on how they perform. You can only justify their cost based on how they make you feel. So, Let's get back to the packaging. The box is huge, and we've actually only explored half of it. I'm sure for $1,200, they've got all kinds of little premium goodies in here. Uh, we've got a braided USB-C to C cable, along with an A to C adapter, and what appears to be a leather cable tie. Classy. Cotton baggie full of bits and bobbles. With some extra ear tips. We got some extra ear wings, and each and individual plastic packages? Wait, that's it? Why is this box so big? I mean, here's a box for AirPods Pros. Here's a box for an iPhone 13, now with 100% less charger. And this is the box for the Horizon earphones. This is a problem. At lttstore.com, we've put significant time into making our packaging more sustainable. And to see LVMH, a multi $100 billion corporation, claim on their website that this is somehow eco-friendly, it's, it's frustrating. I mean, it does appear to be mostly made of cardboard, which is good, but it also comes with a leather case that serves no purpose other than to slow down your access to your earphones. Not one, but two of these non-recyclable cotton bags and unnecessary plastic waste in a massive box filled with mostly empty space. Meaning that when you ship a crate of these things, you're shipping mostly air. I mean, I'm not saying it's the worst packaging we've ever seen, not even by a long shot. Or I'm not even saying that we're so much better, to be very clear. I'm just saying that calling this eco-friendly is disingenuous greenwashing and they need to stop fronting. And that's kind of the main issue with this product. It's all fronting. Louis Vuitton wants you to think that this product is better than it is so that people who want to look and feel richer than they are can spend exactly 472% more than these are worth. How did we come to that figure, you might ask? by dividing 1,180 US dollars over 250 US dollars. The price of these. The Master and Dynamic MW07 Plus earphones. Why these ones? Hmm, let me think. The shape, identical. The sound, identical. identical. The controls, identical. identical. The materials, features, accessories, identical, identical, identical. The case, different. Also, the design on the earbuds themselves is a little bit nicer in my opinion, and the packaging is far more reasonable. So Louis Vuitton is charging you about $900 for their admittedly nice carrying case and their design work here, and a little leather pouch with a zipper on it. Though, that's not really that strange actually, is it? What is strange is that Master and Dynamic are a reputable headphone brand known for their quality products, and yet, their name is absolutely nowhere to be found on the Horizon earphones. 
Nowhere on the product, packaging, or website do they even hint at the partnership, like you might see with LG's With Meridian or Samsung's Sound by Samsung, excuse me, I mean, AKG. Maybe they don't want to confuse their potential customers? I mean, I'd be confused if I was spending $1,200 on 18 grams of goods and getting something other than solid 24 karat gold. <laughs> to be clear, I don't have a problem paying more for high quality stuff. That's totally okay. I mean, I bought cinema cameras back in the day to elevate our content for $50,000 a piece. I mean, there's, there's a reason that LTT products aren't as cheap as a lot of other merch. I care about quality and I care about longevity. I just also care about value. And these earbuds, they are gonna be so worthless in a couple of years when their battery dies that they will almost certainly end up in a landfill at that point. So while I will not go as far as to say, never buy anything from Louis Vuitton, it's stupid. I will say that if you really want to buy something from Louis Vuitton, buy a bag or a watch. Something that could last you a long time conceivably, that you could pass down to your spoiled children, or at least resell later. Or better yet, actually just don't. And buy something sensible, like from our sponsor, Privacy. Holiday shopping is well underway and Privacy.com is here to help. With the growth of technology and the increase of online fraud, keeping your banking information safe and secure is becoming more of a concern. And Privacy.com lets you shop online with virtual credit cards that offer way more security and control than conventional cards. You won't have to worry about being billed twice for a subscription service, getting upgraded to something without your consent, or having to change your credit card information in the event of a data breach. Privacy.com also allows you to set spending limits so you can take control of your finances and stick to your gift budgets. Their free service offers you up to 12 cards, and by upgrading to Pro, you'll be able to get 36 cards, more security features, and 1% cash back. As a special bonus, if you sign up today, you'll get five bucks. So check it out today at privacy.com forward slash Linus. That's privacy.com forward slash Linus. If you guys enjoyed this takedown of an overpriced audio product, maybe you'll enjoy our Streets by 50 Stormtrooper Edition video. I think that's the last time I dunked this hard on something this unnecessary. Vuitton.